are doing a lot of research in this field of neuroimmunology. The latest step was to proceed in a human trial and this is uh, indeed what uh, was done here. This is the first uh, ever done in humans with ALS and multiple sclerosis by using intrathecal injection of those stem cells. I was 24 and I had these neurological symptoms and about 15 years after my first episode, I woke up and I was blind in one eye. I went to an ophthalmologist and I was clinically diagnosed with MS. When I realized that I had MS, I hung up the phone on my doctor and I was screaming. Two years ago, a friend of mine comes up to me and says, David, did you read this article in Adasa magazine about what they're doing in Israel in stem cell research? Brought it home for Linda to read. She read it and immediately said, I want an appointment with a doctor. Make it happen. You do it, you know? And David got, you know, he's like a typical Jewish husband. He does exactly what his wife tells him to do. So I immediately sent an email to Lee Wunsch the CEO of the Federation. He sent it on to Annette Sandok. Annette Sandok set up the meeting two days after he arrived in Israel. We went to Hadassah to meet the doctor. Linda was almost paralyzed. She almost couldn't walk, definitely not walking alone, but uh, she could do only a few steps with uh, significant bilateral support. She would furniture walk. She'd walk from one chair to the next to hold on to something so she wouldn't fall. I would fall many times, bruised all over, and I almost had a brain concussion because I would fall and hit my head. She was actually referred by a famous neurologist in Houston uh, who sent her here uh, since she did not respond to the regular treatments for multiple sclerosis. Took a physical and he said, um, you're a good candidate. He told her, I think I can help you. Would you like to be involved in this study? And of course, we jumped up and down and said, yes. I mean, it's, it's still emotional <laughs> because it's helped her so much. We take under local anesthesia, we harvest the bone marrow. Boom, boom, boom. Harvesting was they put you to sleep for 20 minutes and they take the stem cells from your bone marrow. It was a small procedure. And then we find that this, this very small population of, the, of those specific stem cells and we culture them in order to increase their number. We can find in the beginning some thousands of these cells and then we raise them up to tens of millions. I was on the bed and, oh, here comes a fly. And I go, who's that? If I'm, he's the lab technician, and he had this little black box. I said, what's that? He goes, your stem cells. And I said, don't drop it. The cells are injected either through the um, spinal fluid, which means by a lumbar puncture, or into the bloodstream. And this is done by injection performed in the neurology department. I've gotten much better than I was two and a half years ago. She had three injections of the stem cells. She started walking. Then she throw away the cane, she does not use the cane, and she can walk fast, she can even run now for hundreds of meters. I'm a firm believer in supporting the work of Hadassah. Because when you support the work of Hadassah, it just touches so many lives. It's really helped because of what I've gotten from Hadassah and from Dr. Cruz's. But there is a way to reverse disability which is something believed to be an impossible task for years. When you see a muscle which is paralyzed and then gains much of its function, when you can see a patient who couldn't walk and now can walk, this is a huge excitement. As you may understand, unfortunately, we are now at the point where we cannot accept additional patients at this phase. If we continue these projects, then there may be a solution of cure for diseases like multiple sclerosis. And this will come from Adassa.